Do you have pain in your shoulder? Have you been advised that you have a partially torn tendon? Perhaps a rotator cuff tendon seemed to be partially torn on an MRI scan? Before you spend a lot of time in physical therapy preparing for surgery, this short video will show you a different way. If a normal tendon looks like this, then a partially torn tendon might look like a variation of this, or this, or even this. Surgical treatment generally involves cutting the most injured part out of the tendon, cutting back to more healthy tissue, and then pulling the shortened tissue together and stapling it to the humerus bone. You're left with a post-operative pain and a shortened muscle that may require physical therapy to get stretched enough to restore comfort and function. Alternatively, when you stretch a knee, bleeding makes a scab, and four weeks later, when the scab falls off, there is new skin underneath. For the past 12 years, I have had considerable experience with taking blood out of a vein in your arm, concentrating the parts of your blood that would make the scab, carefully examining and detecting where your tendons are injured, and then carefully injecting the healing power from your own body into these defects in your tendon. And four weeks later, when the scab falls out of your tendon, you will have new tendon parts holding you together. We cannot predict that you will be one and done, but typically we expect to see one and better. How much healing you achieve depends on your age, severity of injury, healing power of your body, nutrition, and the injections being administered into the very best places. If you are considering surgery for an injured tendon, consider helping your body heal a different way, with less pain and less time off work than with conventional surgery. Look us up online or call the Blattman Health and Wellness Center today, 513-956-3200.